Governor Newsom announces an unprecedented step toward gun control. Plus, Caltrans is closing down a part of I-680 this weekend. That and more news up next on Sington. Hey everyone, California Governor Gavin Newsom is proposing a 28th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution to restrict gun access in the country. Let me break it down for you. There are four measures in his amendment that would be instituted across all 50 states plus the territories. Here's what he's proposing. He wants to raise the minimum age to buy a gun to 21 years old, wants to mandate universal background checks, also require a waiting period for all buyers. And lastly, he wants to prohibit civilians from purchasing assault weapons. One political expert thinks the likelihood of this amendment passing is not very high. Not very likely. We've had 11,000 plus uh, constitutional amendments proposed since uh, 1789. Uh, as you know, only 27 have actually uh, gone on the books. There are still a lot of votes that need to happen for the proposal to become law if it ever does. What are your thoughts on this? Okay, in local news, a seven-year-old boy had to be airlifted to the hospital on Wednesday after being bitten by a rattlesnake. It happened around 4 p.m. on a hiking trail in Mount Diablo State Park in Walnut Creek. According to a park ranger, the boy was walking through grass when he felt the bite. The rangers say they worked to keep the venom from spreading throughout the boy's body and were able to stabilize him before he was transported to the hospital. The boy is reportedly recovering and doing okay. Quick FYI here, Caltrans is closing down all southbound lanes of I-680 in Pleasanton this weekend, beginning Friday at 10 p.m. through 4 a.m. on Monday. This is the stretch we're talking about here between Sonol Boulevard and Koopman Road. Caltrans says the closure is to replace a portion of the existing deteriorated roadway with new pavement. The northbound lanes, by the way, will not be affected at all. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.